the statement 10, helping understand the reproductive effects um, and understanding the loss of fertility and options to preserve fertility. Well, to what degree is a conversation important to have? How many people have heard the adolescents say, I don't wanna talk about that, I'll just adopt, I know. <laughs> We've all heard them, like that's said over and over. What I, what I would say is it's important for us not to put our ideas about what should or shouldn't be when it comes to reproductive uh, health um, you know, conversations into play. But an adolescent who says, I'm just gonna adopt, leave me alone, is different than an adolescent who says, I don't really care about this right now, but I realize I'm a teenager, maybe when I'm older I could change my mind, but I don't think I will. That shows, that second group shows that that adolescent is capable of understanding that they don't know what their life may be like. That's the type of young person that is, you know, understands that their decisions that they're making now are impacting them and they could be appropriate for their future or they might not be. And it's not up to us to say, well, if your thing is gonna change in time, if your priorities change in time, well, then we shouldn't do this. No, it's to say, Great, you understand that. Now let's move forward with what you feel you need. In the first kid, it seems like we may want to do have a session to help them appreciate that their 30-year-old um, self is very different than their 14-year-old self. And you know, even for young people that understand that some other people have evolving needs, that, but, and they don't think it applies to them, that's good, that's helpful, that, that's what we are aiming for, is to help adolescents appreciate that.